Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goyne. In our today's video, we will talk about solving rational inequalities. In our previous videos, we talked about solving rational equations, and right now, our focus is on how to solve rational inequalities. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Here's our example for this video, wherein we are asked to solve the rational inequality x squared minus 3x minus 4 over x squared minus 8x plus 16 is less than 0. So, kailangan kong mas secure dito first is to secure whether your inequality is in general form. Meaning, yung ating buong expressions ay nasa left side na or nasa isang side na while the other side is 0. So, let's start. Ito naka general form ito. Ha? First thing you need to do here is to find first the critical values or the zeros. But, I need to factor out my numerator and denominator because these are trinomials. The factors of x squared minus 3x minus 4 are x minus 4 times x plus 1. So remember, kailangan marunong ka rin mag-factors ng trinomials. Next, for your denominator, this one is definitely x squared minus 8x plus 16 is definitely a perfect square trinomial meaning the factors are x minus 4 times x minus 4 is less than 0. Now to solve for the critical value, lagyan natin dito, critical value. What you need to do is to get the factors. Ito meron tayong uh, tatlong x minus 4. So, meron tayong x plus 1. Ang gagawin ko lang dito is I will equate each factor. Yung x minus 4 natin, equate this by 0. Okay? So, transpose ko lang sa kabila to, it will become x is equal to 4. Ngayon ang ibig sabihin nito guys, bakit siya tinawag na critical value? Ito kasi yung mag-set, kaya siya critical value, ito yung maging, uh, mag magiging zeros. Okay, zeros of your function. Now, so ito tayo, meron x is equal to 4. Next naman natin, is this. x plus 1. Transpose natin sa kabila. x plus 1 is equal to 0. Transpose natin sa kabila, magiging x is equal to negative 1. Sila nga yung gagamitin natin mamaya rito. Okay? So, what's next after this? Okay? So, dito naman, after natin makuha yung critical zeros natin, actually guys, the, the zeros of the numerator are negative four, uh, 4 and negative 1, while the zeros of your denominator is equal to 4. Kasi parehas naman ito eh. Next natin, is we will plug in, okay, we will plug in this critical value sa ating graph. So, I'll be using, okay, I'll be using a different color dito ha okay, itong gagawin natin yung critical value na natin which is first is equal to 4 ito siya, yung 4 lagyan natin ng line para ma-divide natin yung ating number line into different regions and the other critical value is negative 1 so dito tayo, negative 1 so as you can see yung ating number line is already divided into three different regions. So, what will happen here? Now, para makuha natin yung mismong um, uh, solution sets o yung mga possible values of x, eting first, ano natin, eting first region natin, wala dito, itong number na dito, ito nasa gitna, sa yung papunta dito. We need to assign or we need to get some representative from each video. Kunyari, dito sa git ng sa git ng ano natin, sa git ng region natin. As you can see the numbers are here are 0, 1, 2 and 3. We can choose x is equal to 0 to represent this region. Dito naman, I will simply choose um which number? Negative 2. Pasok pa naman yung negative 2, ba? I have x is equal to negative 2. And here, on the other side, gamitin ko na yung 5. x is equal to 5. 
So ngayon dito, ang kailangan natin malaman dito is we will plug in all this representative sa ating original value. Okay? Sa ating original value. Ngayon, pwede siya maging true, pwede siya maging false, pero yung true lang doon na region, siya yung uh, magiging set of values natin. So let's try. I will start with negative 2. So instead of using this, ito na gagamitin ko para kasi mas mabilis to. Okay? So if negative 2, meron tayo, copy natin to. Look ha, this is x minus 4, meaning that is negative 2. I'm replacing your x bilang negative 2 minus 4 times negative 2 ulit plus 1 over negative 2 minus 4 times negative 2 minus 4 is less than 0. Simplify natin to. Actually, pwede natin gawing squared na lang to eh. Itong part na to. Pero simplify natin to. It will become here. Ito ha. Ito magiging negative 6 times. Ito magiging negative 1 over ito magiging negative 6 times negative 6 as you can see mga cancel na natin to cancel cancel we have negative 1 over negative 6 magiging 1 over 6 na lang yan okay so as you can see copy natin to nakalimutan ko less than 0 and then less than 0 so try natin 1 over 6 is less than 0 is it true or false Okay? 1 over 6 is greater than 0, mean, meaning this is false. False ito. So, itong region na to ay hindi part ng ating solution because your x is equal to negative 2, nagkaroon siya ng false answer. Now, let's move on with the next one. Simplify na lang natin ito. Ah. 0 yun, di ba? Magiging 0 minus 4 times 0 plus 1. Again, I'm still using this. Ito naman, gawin na lang natin 0. Kasi na yun eh. Pwede natin sila pagsamayin bilang x minus 4 square. Magiging 0 minus 4 square. Simplify. It's less than 0 pala, sorry. Simplify natin. I hope na magkasya dito sa part na to. We have negative 4 times 0 plus 1 is 1 over 0 minus 4 is negative 4 squared then less than 0 negative 4 times 1 that is negative 4 over negative 4 squared that is 16 so ito siya yan. next simplify natin to negative 4 over 16 natin is negative 1 over 4 less than 0 so, ang tanong dito, is negative 4 less than 0? Yes. Meaning, this is true. So, kung true to, ibig sabihin, yung solution set natin ay nasa gitna. Pero, try pa rin natin dito sa right side. Sa right side, I hope na magkasya. This is 5, di ba? So, that is 5. Kita pa ba? 5. Move natin, ha? 5 minus 4 times 5 plus 1 over 5 minus 4 squared is less than 0. Okay? Simplify natin to. 5 minus 4 is 1 plus at uh, times 5 plus 1 which is 6 over um, 5 minus 4 is 1 so square. So 1 times 6 is 6 over 1 so less than 0 less than 0, so 6 is less than 0. As you can see, this one is a false statement. So, ngayon, okay na. We identified that the middle region is your, is are the possible values of x. Ngayon, after ito mga representative ng bawat region, kailangan din natin malaman whether the critical values are included. Okay? We need to know if the, this critical values negative 1, 4 are included. Try natin. So, 
Eh, atin dito eh. So dito, um, using the same equation, the first critical value is negative 1. So we have negative 1 minus 4 times negative 1 to negative 1 plus 1 over negative 1 minus 4 squared. So as you can see, magiging 0 na to, magiging negative 5 times 0 is less than 0 pala to over negative 5 squared. So, automatic guys, negative 5 times 0 yan, di ba? Magiging 0 yan. Meaning, yun ay 0 is less than 0. So, false yan guys. Okay? Again, chinecheck natin yung critical value kung kasama siya. So, false siya. Ibig sabihin, kasi yung 0 is not equal to 0. Ha? False. So, gagamit tayo ngayon ng uh, gamit tayo ng green for the shading. Open circle yan because negative 1 is not included. So, sumukan naman natin yung 4. So, 4 naman tayo as your next critical value using this. We have 4 minus 4 times 4 plus 1 over 4 minus 4 squared is less than 0. Kung mapansin nyo, undefined to, ba? Ibig sabihin, wala na agad yan. Okay, false na agad yan. Sir, bakit po undefined? Kasi ito, 4 minus 4 is 0 squared. So, 0 pa rin yan. Bawal tayo magkaroon ng 0 sa denominator. So, false na yan. Ibig sabihin, yung isa nyo pang critical value is not included. Now, if manghingi ng graph yung teacher nyo, ito siya, di ba sabi natin kanina yung middle region? Ito siya, lagyan siya ng shade. Yan. Pero yung ends nito, hindi kasama. Yung dalawang critical values. So, paano ngayon natin susulat yan? Okay? Sa interval. Okay, interval notation. Kasa ba ba tayo? Okay. For the interval notation, Okay, we have negative 1, comma 4. So, ito lang siya. Gamit tayo ng parenthesis, negative 1, comma 4. Parenthesis din. Ibig sabihin ng parenthesis, guys, ibig sabihin niyan, hindi kasama or hindi included. Okay? Hindi included yung mismong solution natin o yung mismong critical values natin now, paano naman yung ano sa set builder notation set builder notation paano natin ko-convert to bilang set builder now, nato lang sya x such that x or, buray ko ng konti. So, sa builder notation natin, ganito siya. X, such that X, is greater than, negative 1, but less than 4. Ito siya. So, kaya naging ganti yung tsura ng ating set builder notation, kasi, Ano siya? Nasa gitna siya. Okay? So, ang basa dito is x such that x is greater than, we will start with here, sa so middle ter, middle middle variable x. x is greater than, mas malaki sa negative 1, pero mas mababa kay negative 4. So, I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to solve rational inequality. Medyo mahaba yung video natin, but for sure, matututo kayo dito because uh, this one is de discussed detailed. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!